Hey there YouTubers, uh, I had a video on request on how I put my Unistrad up for my uh, solar panels up here. As you can tell I'm expanding it there. Alright, I'm going to show you how it's done. Alright, get some Unistrad like this that you're needing to use. They come in 10 foot lengths. And you get these pieces, they're little uh, spring bolts. Alright, they're locking bolts. And if you notice on there, there's a little edge there that's kind of kicked off. That way it can spin in and lock itself in there as you tighten it down. So you ain't got to have a wrench for that. And all you got to do is stick it in. It's harder to do with one hand, but hey, I can get it done. You do, you just push it down and twist it. And you know, it locks in there. Alright, and then you put whatever you got on top. It'll be another piece of unit strut, whatever, washers, whatever you're going to bolt to it. And bolt it down, that holds that in there. Alright. And right, we'll show you what I'm doing. I've got some of those in my pocket. All right, we're gonna go up top. Go up top here. All right, show you what I've been doing. Got me tools up here. All right. Now there's no roof on top of this, as you can tell. All right. There's no roof. I just got everything bolted to the top. All right, and I'll show you this piece of Unistrad I've got. And if you look down in there, you'll see a bolt with a washer, and there's a washer underneath, a big flat washer. And there's a washer here, and there's a little small galvanized standoff there. Now, if you're doing a roof, you want to do the same thing. That way you can keep it, you know, you're putting it on the roof, keep it above the roof. I mean, you don't have to do this if this is sitting on the ground or whatever, or if you build a wooden frame and then set this on the frame. You still want something to keep the metal really from the wood. Plus, it gives you some clearance. There's some clearance. But I've got four of those on there on each end. And then when I was showing you earlier with the uh, lock nuts here, the spring nuts, and everything's bolted into it. And it holds this piece of angle bracket where that piece goes up. Custom bend these pieces, bolted and bolted. All right, I'll be back when I get this piece up there. All right, there you guys go. There's some more of it done. It's all the way over. All right, and I'll go up there and I'll show you how I got that stuff connected. Alright. Okay, YouTuber guys, now that we're up here, I'm going to show you some other things I've got done. Alright, here's where I got two pieces joined together. You know, I got two bolts and screws on both sides there. Alright, let's show you some other things. Alright, on the inside of that, it's just a piece of steel with holes in it going across the top there to hold that there in place. That way I can put two pieces of a uh, unit strut together. Okay, that's 10 foot going that way, and then I just add another 5 foot, so a 15 foot all the way across. Alright, uh, here's another piece of unit strut. It's upside down, and this piece here is turned upside down flat against it. And all it is, is a washer on the bottom, washer on the top, bolt, lock nut through the middle. And all four of those right there are like that. Alright, and where they all four connect there... There's four nut, four screws, and wash, and eight eight washers. Or no, four screws, washers, all the way through on that. All right, and I'll show you guys how I connect my solar panels to these. At least how I've done them. All right, these panels I've done a little bit different because they're not near as deep as the other panels. So I came from the bottom up. There's a hole already in the solar panel, so I just put the screw through, lock nut, washer on the top, and then tightened her down where the panel connects to the unistrut. Same thing here, except for now you see that in there, the locking bolts on the bottom, so I was able to fit the screw through the top and through the bottom that way. All right, and all six of those are done that way. All these thin stuff here, this is how they'll be done, because this is just a little bit thinner, than this is just a little bit thicker. So that's pretty much that, big old rat's nut to wire, but I'm gonna have some piece of PVC piping going through a conduit, something where I can put these wires will be all up inside that and run across or I might just piece a unit strut like that I don't know I haven't decided yet I just want to put that wire up and make it look nice alright and that's that